every structure that exists in the world today experience one or the other kind of force. Knowing how these forces act on structures and how we can interpret those forces is very important. That is why we learn about the types of force and force systems in this video. When several forces act on a body like a beam or a truss, they constitute a force system. There are different types of force systems. If all the forces in a force system do not lie in a single plane, for example an XY plane, they constitute a force system in space. And if all the forces in a system lie in a single plane, it is called coplanar force system. In coplanar forces, we have subtypes. If the line of action of all the forces pass through a single point, it is called concurrent force system. Here, line of action is a straight line through the point on which the force is acting. Now, if we combine both the cases, that is coplanar and concurrent force systems, we have coplanar concurrent force system. This means if the forces act on a body in a single plane and the line of action of all these forces pass through a single point, then it is coplanar concurrent force system. Exactly like what we see here. For example, let's consider a thin metal rod hanging on the wall. The weight of the rod will be acting downwards and there will be an equal and opposite reaction to that weight acting upwards. But if we have a case where all the forces acting in a single plane but do not meet at a single point like what we see on the beam here, then it is called coplanar non-concurrent force system. Forces are in a single plane but they do not meet at a single point. There is a simple difference. If the force pass through a single point, it is concurrent force and if it doesn't, it is non-concurrent. So, a single plane and a single point constitutes to a coplanar concurrent system and a single plane and not passing through the single point constitutes to a coplanar non-concurrent system. These two forces are the four systems in single plane. But what if a force is in multiple planes? That is our next type of the forces. If the forces do not lie in a single plane, and do not pass through a single point, then it is non-coplanar, non-concurrent force systems. The forces can be in any plane and can act anywhere on the object. The best example is a moving car. It has many forces acting on it. Weight of the car is acting downwards and then you have a reaction for that. Also, there is a friction force at the wheels and there is a driving force of the car and also there is a wind against the driving force. All these forces are acting on a single body but they are in different planes and are acting at different points. At last, we have one more type of force system that is collinear force system. If the line of action of two or more forces coincide with one another, it is called a collinear force. Suppose we have two forces F1 and F2. If they coincide with each other, their line of action is along the same lines. As they are in the same line, they are called collinear force system. Combined effect of these two forces will be F1 plus F2. The best example we can relate to is the game tug of wars where each opponent is pulling the rope towards their end. We can locate a point on the rope where these two forces will be acting. The line of action of the forces are along the same lines, hence they are collinear. These are the major types of force system that will act on a body. To sum up, we have coplanar concurrent forces, coplanar non-concurrent forces, non-coplanar non-concurrent forces and collinear forces. In the next video, we learn about analysis and composition of a force.